and it's actually tender super tender fish how's it your aunt would be cooking this fish it's called a sturgeon miso butter fish is what i wanted to make but it was too expensive so i'm using this fish as the test trial please hit that like and subscribe button to help us get to 2000 subscribers we really appreciate each and every single one of you yes let's go eat some grub fitness foodies and the fabulous absurd from burpees to camu you're never gonna know what you're gonna get from your unk burpee yoga uncle how's it and aloha's your unk uh, i was gonna make miso butterfish but uh frugal times i checked butterfish they're like 30 dollars a pound which is like obscene so uh i got an alternative for it i'll be making miso sturgeon same recipe as miso butterfish but we're gonna use a sturgeon this is a this is about a pound worth of sturgeon and uh first thing i want to do is make the sauce and the sauce is pretty easy to make so we start off with oh please like and subscribe hit that like and subscribe button the first thing you'll need is miso uh, you can pick it up in most Asian stores. So this is a brand that we use. But uh, I don't think, I mean, I'm not a miso connoisseur, but I'm sure there's differences, but I don't know. We just buy whatever is on sale. All right, that's kind of how you work it. And then we use mirin. Yeah, the Japanese recipes, Chinese recipes, Thai recipes, they all kind of work the same way in a sense that they use a certain set of uh, uh, ingredients sugar and again it's to your taste and then sake and then um, I want to add a little bit of water and I want to mix it and that's pretty much the paste that goes on to the butterfish and then of course in this case I don't have butterfish, so I want to use the sturgeon. And typically, you want to you want to marinate this overnight for the fish to take in all the flavors. And typically, um, if you want to be environmentally conscious, you don't want to use a plastic bag to, uh, and you would just lather it on top of the fish, which I think I'm gonna do. I I had a bag ready, but I'm thinking when I when I'm cooking this. When I'm cooking, when I'm steaming this, uh, you'll need to have the the paste be on top of the fish. So you, you kind of don't want that to happen. There you go. The paste is pretty much ready. Now you, again, you can taste it if you want it uh, sweeter or less sweet, or you want more miso taste, or you want it saltier. You can add anything you want to it. But pretty much, I think we're good to go here. Yep, so I'm going to take the sturgeon, I'm going to rinse the bowl here. I'm probably going to transfer it, so let me see if I can find a plate, no, I don't have to transfer it. There you go, that's a good plate. If that's the case then, I'm going to have to cut some ginger to put it underneath, because if I don't cut ginger, it, it gets rid of the taste of the and then I'll put it on the top as well. Alright, so that goes underneath the plate here. Alright, so let me start off with the bottom first. And pretty much you're just gonna paint it. I mean that's all I'm doing. And then after I paint it, I'm going to tip it over and paint the other side. Oh, I can smell it. Mm. it smells so good. So I guess it's going to go in this way. Where I bulk of the... There it is. And then I'm going to paint the other side.
I can of course make some more sauce too. But it's a very easy recipe. Oh, my dogs are gonna go crazy. Oh, they didn't go crazy. That's really strange. Yeah, there's one of them. All right, and that's pretty much end of it. Now you're just gonna refrigerate it and let it marinate overnight if possible, if not at least one hour, and let the marine and the miso do its magic on the fish. That's it. I'll come back and see you in a bit. Yep, it's ready to go. So I'll put a glaze one more time. And then I'll put it in the steamer for 10 or 8 to 10 minutes. And it's ready to eat. Let's get it. Steaming. Steaming. Right there. Like 10 plus. Look at that. Oh, jeez. That looked just like miso butterfish. Let's go plate it and try it. All right, let's try this bad boy. This is supposed to be a miso butterfish flavor, but instead of butterfish, we use sturgeon. Yeah. Sturgeon fish that makes the caviars. So let's go try it. These are, whoa, jeez. Let's try this bad boy. Here it goes. Mmm. I can taste the miso. And it's actually tender. Super tender fish. And it's got its distinct flavor that's different than a butterfish and I like it mm. so if you don't have butterfish and you want to eat miso butterfish I would suggest that you try to arrange it with sturgeon. Very good. I'm impressed with it. Yeah, and the sauce. Look at that. I don't make it even as good as it should be. Bless up. Please like and subscribe.